Chickenpox is a communicable disease caused by a type of herpes virus called the varicella zoster virus. It produces a blister-like or vesicular rash that appears on the trunk and face first and then can spread over the entire body in the form of hundreds of itching blisters. Many people think that chickenpox is a mild disease, but it is actually very dangerous and can even be deadly. Before the varicella vaccine was introduced in the United States in 1995, there were about 11,000 hospitalizations and 100 deaths related to chickenpox each year. In fact, varicella is the number one cause of death in children of all the immunization preventable diseases. Younger children between the ages of 1 to 4 are at even greater risk than older children are, probably due to early exposure, since so many are in daycare and preschool. Not that many adults get chickenpox, but when they do, it's a very serious disease, yet the vaccine can effectively prevent it in about 85% of people who receive it. If a person does contract varicella after being vaccinated, the disease is mild. Immunity lasts for about 20 years, so booster vaccines are necessary. The most obvious symptom of the disease is a characteristic rash, but children who have chickenpox also develop fever, headache, and fatigue. Very young children are likely to be cranky or listless. Chickenpox is spread contact or through the air after the infected person sneezes or coughs. A person who has chickenpox can transmit the virus for about one to two days before the rash appears and until all the blisters have formed scabs, which can take several days. The incubation period for varicella is 10 to 21 days after contact with an infected person. What are some of the serious complications of chickenpox? The lesions can become infected, or the child can vomit or develop diarrhea and become dehydrated. Children who have asthma can suffer exacerbations, or children can develop more serious secondary infections such as pneumonia. Children who are immunosuppressed due to steroid therapy or have chronic illnesses and infants are at greater risk for serious illness related to chickenpox. Probably the most serious of these are encephalitis, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, and necrotizing fasciitis. Children who develop these complications are highly likely to die from the disease. As for the treatment, calamine lotion, without any antihistamine added, is recommended for itching. It is important to keep the child from scratching the lesions to prevent infection. Oatmeal baths are helpful and the fingernails must be trimmed short. Acetaminophen is given for fever and discomfort, but aspirin must be avoided as it can cause Rye syndrome, a serious disorder that affects the brain and other organs. Ibuprofen should not be administered either, as it has been associated with an increased risk of necrotizing fasciitis, which can result in the loss of the extremities. Acyclovir, an antiviral agent, is sometimes given to clients who are over the age of 13, have chronic illnesses, or are immunosuppressed since they are more likely to have a serious case of the chickenpox. But it has to be given within 24 hours of the onset of the rash to be effective. For those who cannot take the vaccine, varicella zoster immune globulin, or VZIG, can be given to prevent or decrease the severity of the disease following exposure, but it's very expensive and only provides temporary protection. Children who have leukemia or lymphoma are good candidates for VZIG. If a child does get chickenpox, how would the parents know when to contact the primary health care provider? Parents should contact the provider if the child's fever goes over 102 degrees Fahrenheit orally, that's 38.9 degrees Celsius, the lesions form pus or the child becomes difficult to wake or confused, has difficulty walking, has a stiff neck, vomits continuously, develops a severe cough, or has difficulty breathing. Chickenpox can be quite mild in healthy children, but as you can see, the complications can be serious. It is very important that children are immunized for varicella.